University rankings can be really important for many of us when choosing and aiming in which university we want to do our degree in. Similarly to the previous video which I made about the best schools of architecture in the world which if you haven't already you can go and watch that as well after watching this video. The ranking of the list of universities was made by selecting a lot of different league tables and seeing the repetition and sequence of each university in different league tables. This is because a lot of the time certain league tables will have certain universities which other three or four league tables will not have in their top 10. So I tried to see just the repetition of each university in multiple league tables and if they come up in like a lot of the top 10 or top 20 in the world and in the UK. Also keep in mind that this list doesn't have any specific rankings. All these 10 to 11 universities which I will share in this video are all really great universities and I didn't really rank them from the best to the worst but they are all like among the top 10 the best 10 universities in the UK to study architecture in currently. Okay before starting the video if you haven't already make sure to subscribe like this video and also click that notification bell as a new youtuber i'm trying to grow my channel and if you have a interest in architecture and overall design courses you can just hopefully follow my journey to become an architect okay enough of my begging for subscribers and likes and yeah let's get started okay let's start off this video with the ballet school of architecture at the university college london or ucl this is situated in the heart of London with most of the campuses around Bloomsbury which means that you'll have the advantage of uh, fully experiencing the life here in central London. The entry requirement is uh, AAB or BBB for A-level students. BBB is only if uh, you are eligible for a contextual offer. Basically means it's a specific uh, offer only made for students and applicants uh, who are from a disadvantaged background and disadvantaged area and that went to a underperforming school. CO is not only among the best in the UK to study architecture in but it's also globally recognized and also among the best universities in the world to study architecture or any related courses to the built environment. Okay following up is the University of Cambridge which is as the name states uh, it's situated in Cambridge which is not really that far away from London to be honest and their grade requirement is pretty high as expected with an ESTA AA at A level without any specific subject required at A level. It is also similarly to UCL ranked as uh, among the best universities to study architecture in the world. However, keep in mind that the course that they deliver from my research and also other people, I heard that their course is really much focused on the historical side of architecture. So I'm not really sure, fully sure about it, but I heard that it is expected for you to do a lot of history or history essays uh, when doing your degree for architecture but obviously also make sure to do your own research on it if you are considering and you are able to apply there number three in the list is uh, the university of bath which is ranked uh, as the best university in multiple rankings such as the complete university guide and the grade requirement it's pretty high really similar to not really similar it's, it's just the same as the cambridge ones with esta aa at a level their course is a bachelor in science and it's really much focused on also as highlighted in their website into the the more technical and mathematical aspect of architecture also they highlight that they would prefer students with a background in maths and physics and with a high grade in maths and physics in their GCSE with a 7 or above so if you are really into the mathematical physics technical aspect of architecture but at the same time like you like to draw and enjoy drawings uh, Bath is a really good place for you if you meet the requirements okay number four is the University of Sheffield their course is a bachelor in arts so it's a BA and their requirement is uh, three A's or AAB with a contextual offer and they require you to get a B if you if you if you are eligible to get a contextual offer and don't meet the typical offer of AAA. Their uh, BTEC requirement, I think it's the study the um, 
I forgot about list them in the street but usually the BTEC requirement it's a great higher than the A level one. Okay number five is the University of Strathclyde or Strathclyde I'm sorry I don't know how to pronounce it properly but this is situated in Glasgow and it's their second university in the city. It's such a great university for architecture as it has been in the top rankings for the past couple of years. It's a bachelor in science so it's more inclined i think into the technical aspect of architecture i really wanted to apply there mainly because uh, their course also provides you with a year abroad with work experience which is pretty cool their a level entry requirement it's from abb to bbb and i'll also list out uh, all the other qualifications that they accept such as btech and the ib in the screen okay number six is the university of the arts london or ual in their campus central st mines situated in King's Cross in the heart of London similarly to UCL which will give you the opportunity to have everything close by. The course is a BA, a Bachelor in Arts, however despite it's an art school their approach to architecture is not the most it's not that it's not the most artistic obviously they have the artistic aspect of it but they are really much focused on the people which means that their course is more inclined in uh, empathizing for the needs of others and designing according to the needs of others if you're wondering i'm currently a student there for their foundation program in three-dimensional design and architecture and from my experience it's actually a great place to study science uh, all the tutors are really great the facilities are great and it's also so ranked as the I think the second best university for art and design in the entire world. Oh yeah, I was about to forget that it's uh, probably already on the screen uh, by now, but their A-level entry requirement is uh, AAB. However, I also met students that go into the university with a lower uh, grade or like two lower grades than their uh, standard requirement. Obviously, I'm not really encouraging you to aim to get a grade lower or two grades lower because it doesn't mean that they will take everyone but yeah if you end up not getting a b and you might miss it for a grade or two you might have the chance to get in as uh, from my experience their focus is uh, really much in their interview and how you perform in the interview and how your portfolio is okay number seven is uh, manchester school of architecture which is part of the university of manchester which is i think the biggest university in the uk with the most amount of students uh, i think it's around 40 45000 50000 probably it's yeah it's it's pretty much it's really is a really big university and uh, they are also ranked as uh, not just among the best in the uk for their architecture course but it's also internationally recognized the great requirement is uh, 3 a's aaa um, i don't know if you can get into the uh, with a great low or two grades low probably you can um, if they have spaces or anything but yeah obviously don't really aim to get a great low or two grades low always try to aim to get the best and the highest their course it's known as a BA a bachelor in arts uh, um, I'm not really sure if they really focus on the artistic side the design side or the engineering side fully because some universities they advertise themselves as a bachelor in arts but they have a high focus also in the technical side of of architecture but yeah if you're interested on it is a great university high reputation for architecture and also other courses number eight is the university of newcastle oh, no it's, it's actually newcastle university sorry it's the other way around their entry requirement is uh, 3s aaa for a level and all the other requirements obviously are similarly to the previous ones are listed here on the screen of course it's a bachelor in arts uh, and uh, yeah i'm um, they might focus on the design aspect but usually uh, from what i've experienced with my researchers and also talking to like some other people that applied for architecture is that universities outside of london usually tend to be a bit inclined into the engineering side of architecture the technical side of it and that's just uh, something that i've heard uh, like from some people but obviously it's not really sure about it but even if you like look at in their website they usually require you with a higher grade for GCSE in maps in compared to like some universities here in within london that require for example a lower grade for maps or like physics this science uh, based course. obviously um it's a ba bachelor in arts and uh, from what they say in their website it seems like they actually focus in the design aspect of architecture and if you get the grades it's also 
a great university with a really good reputation out there okay number nine it's love barra university the entry requirement of a level uh, of being a b barra in a lot of the news out there it's also ranked as uh, one university with the best campus uh, out there in the uk with really positive uh, feedbacks also from students if I, um, when i applied in uh, 2019 2020 like i was supposed to start my degree this september 2020 but i decided to defer my film choice to next year 2021 when i applied in 2019 slash 2020 sorry for all these like confusive numbers but yeah when i applied uh, um, i read in their website that uh, their course is yet not accredited from the riba or the royal institute of british architects because it's uh, kind of newly introduced and they are still seeking for the accreditation they promise that once they get the accreditation uh, all the graduates from the university will uh, automatically have their degree with the accreditation so yeah also keep in mind that, that it's not uh, i don't know if now it's accredited um, i'm not fully sure about it but when i apply it was written in the website that they are still seeking for the accreditation from the riba which is the accreditation needed for you to become an architect here in the uk but yeah overall it's a great university with great facilities but then it's uh, the university of edinburgh with their great requirement of uh, aaa to abb uh, this one as well is uh, not only ranked as one of the best in the UK but it's also like really internationally reputed not only for architecture but their overall university has a really high reputation I think yeah the second best university in Scotland after the University of St Andrews I haven't fully researched on it um, I'm not really sure if they're more inclined to the engineering and technical aspect of architecture or more into the artistic aspect of architecture but yeah it's a overall great university with a really good reputation and finally the bonus one is the architectural association school of architecture also known as the aa school of architecture uh, this university also came down in the previous video in the best university list of in the previous video about the best uh, universities in the world to study architecture in and this is a pretty much low-key university it's not really known from everyone it's just like known from people that are into the architecture sector the architecture department this is mainly because uh, their institution the aa it's a private institution so it's not government founded and the reason why they are among the best university not only in the uk or in outside of the world in the uk but also worldwide even though like, you will not really see it in any of the ranking it's uh, because apparently their education is really much different and, and it's also where really great architects such as zaha did rem kulhaus or ole shiren they studied or they teach them if you go and see their list of uh, architects that they produced they have such a huge list of really famous architects out there that they produced however uh, if you are considering in applying there keep in mind that it's not only competitive because it's not only competitive but it's also really expensive it's not the usual 9250 pound uh, that home student pay here in the uk but it's like i think twenty five thousand or twenty six thousand a year for home students only because uh, as as i said it's a private institution so they are like self-funded they are not government funded and their grade requirement it's pretty uh, different from the other ones uh, as it's uh, only two c's in a level with uh, at least uh, one subject not being an art and design related subject however despite its uh, low entry requirement it's a really competitive university as the interview process and the portfolio it's really criticized so it's not really that easy to get in despite their low entry requirement but yeah if you have the funding to go into the university or you manage to get a scholarship from the university and uh, you manage to get an offer and you're really into architecture this is a really great place to study architecture in so this is it for this video and if you made it so far uh, thank you very much for watching and yeah i'll see you in the next one